Okay, so we got a live our first live game. Um, K Bastion has graciously um, requested us, and we will fight him in the Scrolls Arena. Let's try that new mono order deck we just um, updated to see what flip looks like. Um, now this is a challenge request, so it's unranked, so it doesn't impact your rating. But you know, it, he's he's the only only guy on. Usually you want to be playing ranked matches so that you get um, good opponent good opponents. But if you know your opponent, K Bastion, he's very very good. So um, it'll be a good game for sure. All right, so he's playing growth. <coughs> he's got the early beats. Let's see. So what does that say for us? Um, Let's see. Well, um, we got a flip, so we can definitely try that. I don't know that we want one so early, though. Um, let's get... Ooh, Spiky's really good against growth, so I want to hold on to both of these guys. Um, I think the Sin, Sin March will be good for direct damage later on. Um, part of me wants to pitch this Honorable General. Um, just because it's a 6 and getting to 6 might be slow, but I think I need to pitch this flip even though I want to try and play it. It's just, it's not situationally valuable early, so let me just note that. Um, it might be, but that, that is one, one mark against flip here. Alright, we'll play Storm Zealot, and we'll pass the turn. See, there's that staff in the profile. I guess it's not too bad. It doesn't really obscure the idol that much. I thought it was a little worse. Maybe I'll switch over. Because you can't even see my staff down there. So he played Eye of Eagle. Um, so we'll shoot. Okay. Um, I think I'm okay with that. Just one point of damage. Um, I'm going to pitch this pushback. And then I think what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll kabonk here to put him on the defensive. So now, oh, excellent. So we drew another kabonk, so we can, on our next turn, we can kill our zealot to kill his um, wolf, and then we can kabonk the other wolf. Or we can just play our, our spearman. Ranger's Bane. Okay. So now we, oh, we're going to lose him. Bummer. Okay. Um, let's get people on the ground here. So we'll put out a focus. Here we're, we're still the controlling deck, I think. So we're going to want to soak damage here. Um, I think the standing spearman in the front makes sense. But we'll, we'll put them in the middle. I think um, that gives them more versatility for movement later. Um, Sisp, Sisp was talking about that in the forums, so we put him here. Um, we can take another point of damage just so that we wanted to get threats out, we want to get bodies out. So the Kabonk will have to wait. <clears throat> Alright, he's at four resources and two scrolls in hand. Another MO bummer. Okay. Um, so we get another flip. Yeah, and I really don't want to use it. Um, I just don't see direct value in it. So I'm going to pitch it for a resource. I think we should get our... Yeah, we'll get our Spearman out. Get him blocking as well. And we can always shift him up to play more defensive. <clears throat> we knew that was coming, so to avoid this spiky, he's going to move over, but then that'll let us attack next turn. Ranger Bane, though. Our Ember Bonds was on him, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. 
Hmm. Oh. Slide him over. I don't think we have a lot of fives that we can use, so we're going to stoke a bonk and then we're going to sacrifice. Um, I think this time we're going to put the kabonk on the veteran so that these two spiky dudes are fatal to him. Um, part of me wants to get... Uh, no, I think I... Actually, I have to kill this wolf because the wolf can just suicide into the spiky guy. So kabonk there. Um... I still need to sack for the turn. Are these two honorable generals? I guess I need to start getting them out. So I'm going to pass on the standing skirmisher, and then I can drop honorable generals next turn. Not a terrible position to be in at the moment. Could be worse. Us R2 to his one. But we do need to watch out because he's at five and could get two Thunder Surge mana or resources. So I'll have to put these guys or move these guys appropriately. Um, let's slide. Let's slide him back and him over. Yeah, that'll work. And then he'll put two points on. Yep, okay. Um, oh, this is a bummer. Um, I like Life Stealer. I think Life Stealer, Stealer is good. Um, but I think I need to get out Honorable Generals here. And now on the next turn, I can start. Let's see. Um, now, if I put Honorable General in the center, I'm just give, giving myself up to, um, or leaving myself open to Thunder Surge. Um, so I think I've got to space it appropriately. Um, I think I have to stay away from his vet veteran, so we've got to put some distance between them. Um, well, let's. Let's put this general in the way of this wolf, and then out of the way of these guys. Yeah, let's move him up to the center, because I, st I do put things in the back that I'm not supposed to. Let's see what he does here. Okay. Playing out a lot of walls. Crown of strength. Um let's do this. Let's pitch the crown of strength. Um there's value in it, but I, I want to see two cards instead. Um he's dead, so let's not put focus on him. Um, let's move. Let's slide everything over. Um, we'll shift this way and this way, and then he'll be dead. And then we'll play out another honorable general. Here. I want my spiky guy in the front, but I've sort of screwed that up, so what do you do? Alright, another honorable general. Oop. There we go. We knew that was going to happen. Oh, we didn't know that was going to happen. That's a bummer. Um, okay. Well, now we have to focus. Um, um, so we're going to play Focus Life Stealer this turn. Um, so that means we can get rid of this skirmisher. See, maybe we get a better play. Oh, blessing of haste. Okay. Um, Might do that instead. Mm. 
Z plus and minus T. Yeah, let's do that. Let's slide this guy over and we will put the haste there, which helps count down shenanigans. Um, and then we'll play out a life stealer. And I think we're going to try and uh, attack these top three lanes is now my decision. Um, so we'll, we'll try and ignore down here for a little bit. And we'll put the life stealer to capitalize on the... Yep. Now it doesn't put us in a good thunder search position, but he's showing five, so we'd have to uh, grab it. And Okay, got a pass turn. All right. There we go. All right, so that's... Not a bad position to be in. And even if he thunder surges here, we, I think we're okay still. Sisters of the Fox, okay. Down in the corner, I think that probably means he's gonna fertile soil if he has it. Um, just he's trying to keep the sisters alive. And I'm okay letting these two go. I should be holding control here. I keep not doing that. Um, let's pitch one crown. And all right, so we have a decimation. That's neat. Um, let's use our six. We'll do a um, reserve spearmint up front. We'll push our life stealer to the back. Um, and I think we'll push this general to the back. We'll put the crown on this general, and then on our next turn we can slide him over and then get. Um, lots of damage in. Um, that looks good. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the potential Thunder Surge. He got to six now. <clears throat> it could just be that he has a card he didn't need, though. But I would have thought he'd pitch for scrolls. Or I just missed when he did six last turn. But yeah, from his standpoint, we see he's put a lot of damage here, so he's obviously going to take this idol, so it's going to be a turn before he starts interacting with our guys um, with this veteran. Um, the sisters was probably just a draw. Yeah, but he's so you can see he's going to start planning an attack on that center lane, so we have to be cognizant of that. Um, I think my plan will be sort of give up the center lane a little bit here to win. Um, you know what? No, let's let's hold off because I say if I move this honorable general, I'd get six points in from this honorable general. But I can wait and I can do some shifting. I can move this general up and then decimation the row, and that seems pretty good. Um, so for this turn, we're going to keep hold on to the decimation. Decimation. We're going to get rid of the. Focus, and then okay. So we're gonna play. Uh, we're just gonna open ourselves up to Thunder Surge here. I think it won't hurt us as bad as I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. Let's do. Yeah, we're just gonna let ourselves get destroyed by Thunder Surge. Wait, let me check the countdowns. Okay, so. We're going to play him defensively in front um, so that when this veteran comes over and then we're going to slide this guy up, play out infantry, and then try and slide. To, oh, no, never mind. They're all connected anyway. There's no way I can not connect them. But. Sorry. I'm talking too much. You can see my... These time turns are, are taking their toll on me a little bit. Um, this could put us in a bad spot, but it feels like it won't. So now we have decimations that we don't want to use because of all our guys here. Right, and we have to recognize I wasn't even paying attention. We took an idol. Wow. I need to stop commentating and start playing a little bit more again. <laughs> As spiky guys 
definitely doing his job here. Um, he's making that veteran think twice, hopefully. Um, either that or he's got a thunder surge and he's just salivating as he realizes he's, uh, we wouldn't be too bad off on a thunder surge, actually. It wouldn't, it wouldn't help us, but we could, we could make some moves, see what happens. He's in the tank. He's thinking. In the same tank. Hmm. These double decimations, I don't know. We might just use those on our this top row and just start moving everything down. Which there's yeah, there's even more incentive to do that now. Uh, I think he missed that the guy was spiky. That's fine. Okay. All right, the zealot. Let's see what else we can get. Okay. Might have been good to hold on to that zealot if we knew we were going to use decimation here. But let's try this. Um, let's bring everybody down. Bring him up. Keep him protected. Yeah, and then we're going to just decimate. Let's hold off on the decimation because we know it's we know we can do that at this point, and then we can bring in a, another skirmisher, yeah, another spiky guy would be good. Okay, and that'll work. We might have a wolf summoned on us right here, though. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on here, and really, the only thing we're trying to do at this point is get 9 damage on this idol. So, so everybody who could... Yeah, there's the Thunder Surge. That didn't feel good. <laughs> but it wasn't as bad as I thought. And, yeah, okay. Alright, so we'll keep the spiky guy. Oh, let's for first... Let's see what we... Let's pass up on this infantryman and see what we can get. Oh, a blessing of haste. Okay, well that changes the equation. So, um, let's do this. Um, oh, well we can just win. Um, life stealer up top. This guy over. Blessing of haste. And then that is it. So we do the uh, good game. It was well fought. Hard one. That was it. We get some gold. I haven't been on in a while, so I get the bonus. I think 10 is the cap on bonus. So. Thanks for watching.